Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to give you an introduction to a membership and members directory and show you how to set that up. So it's a membership event and directory system. It's this one here. And I've just checked it out. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to use it for a client. And it looks like it's well updated. So we need to uh, set this up. And I've never looked at this one before, so you're going to uh, be on the cutting edge. All right, so let's see. Um, here's the panel, panel here. I'm just going to check if there's any other settings here. No, it doesn't look like it. Great. Appearance. Let's just check if there's any widgets that come with it. I usually just go in and, and test something before I... Uh, yeah, so it's footer, sidebar. So here's a widget logging to it, upcoming events. Put these in. There isn't any others. Okay, great. All right, so let's uh, go in here. And just take a look. There's probably not a guide to it. We'll see. So, for product updates and service, please join. Learn more about, sign up for a free account. So let's just sign up for a free account. So that we can get using I'll just do this, I'll just pause my screen in the meantime. So all I did was sign up for a free account and come back here and put in my account login. So then it showed me this as soon as I clicked sign in. So this just gives me a dashboard which is actually quite cool to, uh, to show me everything. Uh, which is really, really nice. So this is extremely nice, I've never seen something so nice. All right, let's start by adding some accounts, members accounts. So let's add a member. Test guy one, contact person none. Uh, none. Yeah, let's just put in some fake things so that we, uh, we have some content on the site. So that's his address, town name, email. So that's one, and now uh, do not list in directory, do not show address, business card, profile gallery, wow this is really good, social links, deal, so you can use it as a t CRM maybe, it looks like. Alright, membership billing, add label, no membership levels, so let's just set up three different levels here, so add membership level, membership name, uh, one, that's um, one. Allow sign up for this membership from website. No, I won't change any of that. I won't change any of that. Next, no billing. No billing. No billing. No billing. No. Create subscription. Oh, that was easy. So it's a free membership. So here's number two. I won't do the paid one. I'll just uh, go through and do this free. We could do that in another video. If you want a continuation of this video, if you like it, then I'll make a follow-up. This is so easy. I'm extremely happy so far. All right, so membership add-ons. Let's see what this is. Optional charges. Okay, let's leave that. Labels, leave that. Folders, 
just to follow that event list. So let's make a new event. Just test test event start date uh, start tomorrow twelve. Yes, end the day after twelve. Place location uh, there. No, let's put it in properly there. You can put in the image and details of the event. All right, let's put in some details. Save and continue. Overall event capacity. No capacity. Yeah, let's say 10 people. Limit number of tickets per registration to one. Create event ticket. This is for one person, I think. Ticket name, no. Standard ticket price, 50. No, free, yeah, 50. Limit one. Okay, we have to upgrade if we want registration dashboard advanced event calendar. So this shows our test event forms, contact form, donation, etc. Let's have a look, see what this does. Let's see, register. Let's see if we can build that here. They're not available. That's understandable. Cool. But it looks pretty cool. Required text input. And then it's got the ones to connect up their phone number and all that kind of stuff to their profile. Let's skip that. Customization member sign up uh, profile. This is just different things. Let's see, that, that's just their name and that member management admin profile, directory profile. This template is used to display member profiles. Okay, let's just see. We can set up a page. They should have a template here. Um, where are my templates? I'm missing templates over here. And I think it's because of the theme I have chosen. Let's just try a different theme. See what happens. There we go. So we got some different templates. Front page template, full width. Okay, that's not giving us the options we need. So we just need to find out where those uh, pages are. So we can see them on the front. Getting started. Ah, oh, here we go. It's got to be a video there. Ah, smart. All right. Try organization, integration. US dollars, you can change that into all of them, it looks like. Payment gateway, Stripe, PayPal, with the standard ones. Great. All we need now is some pages. So let's just, I'll just watch this quickly. And I'll pause for your sake. Awesome. So now we uh, got some short codes. So where were they? Forms, events. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah. WordPress widgets and short codes. So here are the widgets. And I'll show these. We don't need them right now. Upcoming events. And then we got some short codes here. So we're going to create a new page. 
then we want member directory and just see if this works we may need to add it in so it shows test guy one great let's see if we can make that page full width great that was easy there we go so now we've got test guy one let's check him out and it has his details here if we had put some details in contact share close awesome that was easy so now we got a calendar so let's make a new page put that in publish you And here's our test event, let's see. So this gives the details about the event, when it starts and you can register for it. No tickets available. Great. And then we go event list, event calendar, member sign up. So here we can uh, make a sign up page. go and it has my details so you can uh, fill that out so now I'm going to make a manage page this is a really smart way of doing it keeps everything so simple so manage uh, your account manage your account that should publish Okay, so let's check that page. And here I can come in and edit, of course, the details. Now, you can redirect URLs and different things, send people to check out, sort things. So there's a few different things. All right, so that's quite cool. Uh, creating your event page, events, managing, it's got quite a lot of details here that show you how to customize the, the site and they're available there, common problems, so directory URL, events URL, post sign up, so you should actually uh, connect those accounts Here. So member directory. And event calendar. And new member welcome. And this is just for one new member sign up and such. Great. So let's uh, see what happens if we log out and come into the front of the website. So now we go sign up. It shouldn't be signed in. It shouldn't remember us actually. So we just sign out there. This is because we haven't allowed it that they can sign in. That they can see info here. And then you have to, you can't actually join this one. It's how I've just set it up. So now, let's say we want to limit content, uh, limit access to uh, to the setup. I haven't tested this before, but I've got a cool plugin that I use. 
and I want to use that to uh, to limit some access if it's possible. Um, let's change. I just got to see if it costs money. Yeah, it does. I have this plugin, but it may not work on all sites. Okay. I'm not sure if I can use it on all sites. All right, let's use a different one. Um, yeah, I don't have a free one, so we're not going to do that in this video. We'll have to solve that another way. Um, because at the moment, those members are available that people can see. People can see the members and I would have liked to have hidden them. You could make it a private page, and private means you can't see it unless you're logged in. So we could try with that. And I could log in here with my uh, details, but now I've lost them. Great, so now you've seen how we've set up a members directory. It's quite easy to use, and, uh, and looks good. And of course, you can customize how it looks with a little bit of code. Just change your colors and all that kind of stuff. You guys, if you don't know how to do this, you can hire someone. It's not something that takes a lot unless you don't know what you want. <laughs> Great. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.